Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about what are CMSs for ARM Cortex processor along with the CMSs core file structure in detail. Let's get started. And here CMS stands for Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard. So this CMS is nothing but a set of standards which needs to be followed for programming the ARM Cortex Microcontroller. So this CMS helps us in improving the uniformity in writing the program for ARM Cortex based microcontroller. So if you practice to write your own program using the CMS standard for ARM Cortex based microcontroller, you must be definitely able to write your own program based on this CMS for any microcontroller which is based on ARM Cortex based architecture. So that is the power of CMS. So every microcontroller that is for every ARM Cortex based microcontroller, these CMS files are provided by both the ARM company as well as the silicon vendor company that is the IC manufacturer company. So in our case the IC manufacturer is Texas instrument right. So these CMS files are provided clubbed together by the ARM as well as from the silicon vendor. So let us see in detail about the structure of the CMS. So if you have already installed the Keel Microvision IDE, your PC will be having a particular link for the home page for CMS. I will show you the path. Open the C disk and here double click on this user. Go to admin and here go to the app data if it is not showing this folder app data you just want to go to the view tab and then you just want to check in this hidden items you can see the app data folder has become invisible now when i check this hidden items in the view tab i will be getting this app data inside the app data go to the local and here enter here go into the packs ARM CMSs go to the latest version installed 5.8.0 again CMSs here enter into the documentation folder here you will be having a HTML page called index which you will be which will be diverting you to the CMSs home page get into this by double clicking on this index home page you can see this is the CMSs home page here you can see this is also known as common microcontroller software interface standard or cortex microcontroller software interface standard. So it is called in both the ways you don't worry about that. Uh, don't worry if you are not able to find this home page I am just opening this to explain about the structure of the CMS. We are not going to do anything other than that. We will be writing our own CMS file in the future video that is in the next video. For now just listen to this video so that you will be getting some knowledge on the structure of the CMS file. So here we are having several tabs core, driver, DSP, NN, Autos V1, Autos V2, pack, build, SVD, DAP, zone etc. So the main component is the core. We are having two different core tabs you can see here. One is the core for ARM Cortex A and other one is the core for ARM Cortex M. So we are using the ARM Cortex M based architecture microcontroller right. In our Texas instrument we are having ARM Cortex M4F based architecture. So I am just clicking on this ARM Cortex Core M and here click on this Kimsys Core device templates. So here you can see this is the Kimsys Core file structure listed right over here. So in this Kimsys Core file structure there are three major types of files listed. So one is the list of files provided from the ARM company and other one is the list of files provided from the 
silicon vendor that is the manufacturer of the microcontroller third one is the files from the user so the files from the arm company are listed in the purple color and files from the manufacturer of ic that is the silicon vendor is, is listed and shown in blue color and the files from the user end that is the user application files are listed in the gray color so as i said let's recap that as i earlierly mentioned that arm is just a company who is just designing the arm architecture and then selling that architecture to various companies like texas instrument st microelectronics nxp semiconductors and many more companies etc right so for every company they will be providing the core files for manufacturing their own microcontroller so those files are these one you can see here which is listed in purple color or the files from the arm company so core underscore cpu dot h which is holding the kimsys cpu and core access along with the kimsys underscore compiler dot h which is holding the core peripheral functions cpu instruction access and SIMD instruction access or the files which is produced and provided from the ARM company and the files which is shown in blue color are the files that is provided from the silicon vendor that is the manufacturer of the IC that is in our case from the Texas instruments so here they are providing several files like startup underscore device dot C which is holding the CMSYS device startup along with interrupt vectors and then they are providing system underscore device dot C which is holding the CMSYS system and clock configuration which is a dot C file and for this dot C file they are also providing system underscore device dot H which is related to this dot C file which will be also holding the CMSYS system and clock configuration along with that they are providing a common header file device dot H which is holding the CMSYS device peripheral access. So in these files, the device will be replaced by the microcontroller name in our Keel Microvision IDE. That is in our case, these devices will be like TM4C123.h and here it will be like system underscore TM4C123.h. Here also it will be like system underscore TM4C123.h. Here also it will be like startup underscore tm4c123.c so this device name varies based on the microcontroller that you are working and finally this gray color files are user application files that is for example let's take an example that i am just writing one program for fulfilling any of my logic and i will be creating several .c and .h files for writing my own logic or my own program so those files that we will be creating inside our mdk arm folder and we will be using those files so those files that we are creating inside the mdk arm folder for writing and fulfilling our own logics are termed to be called as user application files so those files are separated and they are provided with the color of gray color right over here so it also includes the main function which is yet to be executed in the ARM processor core. So that is highlighted here in gray color. So the user application programs is highlighted in gray color. So these are the basic CMSYS core file structure which includes files from ARM company, silicon vendor company and the user who is writing the program. So these three forms the CMSYS core file structure. In the next video, we will be writing our own CMSYS file for blinking the LED available in Tiva C series launchpad. For that, we will be creating CMSYS file for GPIO registers and also the system clock register. For now, I hope you understood what is CMSYS and how CMSYS core file is structured. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.